Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Cedar Creek 371 FL. This is their new mid-year model change. This is the front living room model. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the RV, come back to the outside of the RV and show you all around, and then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the brand new 371 FL Cedar Creek fifth wheel here. We're going to start up here in the front living room section. That's what the FL and the model number stands for. And we'll kind of spin our way back around through the RV. So looking up front here again, front living room area, you can see the floor down here is pretty much all vinyl and you have a little bit of carpet on the edging of the slide outs and stuff there, but mostly vinyl floor up here. There are two opposing sofas and those will make into beds you see pop up there in the picture. Electric fireplace up there, which is basically a pretty cool fancy electric space heater, about a 5,000 BTU space heater. There's a little bit of storage on each side of that fireplace there that you're seeing. Just above the fireplace is the IRV technology radio, which has a USB charger port, HDMI input and stuff as well. And you have a couple speakers built in there. Kind of looking up here at the roof, you can see a pretty nice clean roof line here. LED lights recessed there into the roof. You also have your air conditioning vents up there and you can see the returns in the middle of the roof there. These are again the Whisper Quiet Air Conditioners by Dometic, so it's not as loud of a roar over your head. You still hear it, but nowhere near as loud as some of the old style RV air conditioners. A little bit of storage on both sides of that TV right there. And the one on the left actually is where your King Wi-Fi router system is. That will actually attach to, say, a campground's Wi-Fi system and just kind of help bring in the Wi-Fi from a campground. Um, not all campgrounds have Wi-Fi, but if they do, that's right there to help you. Now, the TV goes up and down. Right here, you've got your electric outlet, and then you have your up and down TV button. So this TV, when you want to put it down, it's a little 12 volt motor, just runs right on down. Nice and easy to do. And you can see you have a nice big windshield, which hopefully you have a really nice view instead of this garage door we're seeing. But uh, you know, you have a really nice view looking out over a campsite area. And up here, you do have a day shade and you also have a nightshade. So you have two different versions to kind of block in or out the light, however you want to do that. Uh, a lot of brands in their front living room models only give you one shade, not both. And when you want to put the TV back up, you just push the button and it goes right back up. This is simple and easy to do. This is a 12 volt motor system, so you don't have to be plugged into the electric system to do that. Now you have the power theater seat here, and in the middle you have your cup holders, little storage area. And you also have USB charger port on each side of the arm there in the middle. Looking on down the area here, you have double step coming up. You have a step light down there, electric outlet here, a little handrail. And then you have the soft touch buttons here for some of your lighting system. We'll kind of go over that toward the end of the video for the new Firefly system. A little bit of counter space here. Nice little pendant lights hanging down with a little LED accent lighting up top there. A 
You do have the large residential refrigerator here, freezer on bottom with the built-in ice maker. Little storage up above that as well. You have a large microwave over there with some more storage up above. And then the unit comes standard with the new big Insignia oven. Really like this oven, it's huge for an RV. One of the biggest ovens out there on the market for an RV right now. Four burner stove top, has a built-in light glass front and even has little blue LED lighting above the knobs there. Now over on the left here, you have a big pantry area that you're seeing pop up there with some pull-out drawers. And there's even an electric outlet back in that pantry area. So if you did set a you know, coffee pot or something back in there in that drawer, you could plug it in and kind of just leave it there if you wanted to. Now looking forward here, you have a few drawers down on the left and some storage here on the right and also some overhead storage too. Now I pulled out some of the boxes here, some of the stuff that's on this unit. Just wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, this right here is the tire pressure monitoring system. Basically this sends a wireless signal to the tires and will you put this in your truck and basically it'll kind of tell you what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road. This right here is a large seven inch monitor screen here by Furion. And this will show you down both sides of the RV, above the entry door and the back of the RV. And here you can kind of see the box for the side camera. We'll show you this when we get outside too. And one of the cameras over the entry door in the back. But a nice four camera security slash observation system to kind of see around the RV. The dinette area there, you have two traditional stair or chairs there, and they have some storage in them. There's an electric outlet down there on the wall. The top of the table actually raises up. There's a little bit of storage there, and you have a leaf extension there as well. Now, really important when you close this up to make sure that leaf extension is closed, because when the slide out comes in, it comes in right against this. And if the leaf extension's out, you'll shove it into the counter. So make sure that leaf extension is closed, guys, before you close up your slides. Nice size island. You have a little toe kick area down there on this side. You also have the high rise sprayer faucet. Nice solid surface, hard rock style uh, countertops here. You have some storage down below along with four drawers over on the right. And then you have kind of a uh, 70, 30, sink set up here. The uh, carbon monoxide and uh, propane leak detector thing down below next to the half bath door over here. We'll open in a second. Uh, panning up top real quick, there is a turbo exhaust fan up here. So when you're cooking, you can exhaust some of your cooking smoke out through the microwave. It goes right out the sidewall. Or you also have this big turbo exhaust fan up top which moves a lot more air. Into the little half bath side, we'll pop up a picture of this too. But kind of starting up top here, you do have another turbo exhaust fan. There's air conditioning vent in there, medicine cabinet area. And you'll notice the cabinets in here are actually a white color. Little sink area and some storage down below. Porcelain foot flush toilet there. But you have a little half bath there in case you have guests come. Now on the side here, you have the solar charger controller here. And this right here basically just kind of tells you what's going on here. But you have your solar system here, 12 volt, 30 amp solar charge controller by GoPower. This right here is one of the temperature sensors for the air conditioner. And that is the control for the fantastic fan, which has the thermostat and rain sensor stuff built into it. Now over here, going up into the bedroom area, you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. And you're gonna have some more cabinet space and stuff here. We'll pop up a couple pictures of this to see it a little better. 
smoke detector up top there. And the door is a sliding pocket door for privacy. Stepping up into the bedroom area here, you have your bedroom slide out. Window on each side of the bed, and it does have a little shelf above the windows on each side. You have a light and everything in there. Electric outlet on both sides of the bed also. And USB charger ports on both sides of the bed as well. Now over here on the right is the optional cadet bedroom wall heater. And that is another electric wall heater. So you have the fireplace up there producing heat. You also have this little heater here if you opt in for that with producing heat as well. Now the bathroom privacy door back there for your main master bath is also a sliding door too. Kind of looking here at the foot of the bed area there, you have quite a bit of storage space. You got four drawers there and some hanging closet and shelf space kind of thing. 32 inch flat screen TV and a window back there. And you also have an electric outlet over there by the window too. Now another thing I liked that was kind of neat, they kind of made this a little bit different looking here. Master bath area here, you do have another turbo exhaust fan back here. Your washer dryer goes in this closet area right here that just slides open and you would put in a stack of a washer dryer or just use it for space if you want. A little bit of storage up above that. The large one piece fiberglass shower here with the sit down seat. Uh, you do have the skylight up above, glass enclosure, sliding glass enclosure there. But overall, pretty nice size shower. Again, cabinets in here are also white. You have the foot flush toilet, a lot of counter space in here for a bathroom and some overhead cabinets as well and all vinyl floor back here now normally this would have vinyl floor in the bedroom area as well it is an option for carpet in there if you want. This customer chose to order his with carpet. So if you want carpet or don't want carpet, make sure you let your salesperson know when you're ordering your camper. Very nice new, a little bit more modern look. And you're gonna see a whole new outside as well when we get out there. And then we're gonna come back and close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back, guys, on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Cedar Creek 371 FL fifth wheel here, guys. We're going to start here in the front section of the RV, kind of work our way around. You can see here it has the windshield in the front that we've seen when we were inside. You have three LED light strips there as well. All new coloration of the graphic and the coloration of the fiberglass is different now too. Unit comes standard with a traditional Rhino box here on the front and you can opt in and upgrade to a trail air pin box if you want with the airbag and shock built in from the factory. Some people also like to do the more ride version aftermarket. So you kind of have your own choice of what you want to do there. Big storage compartment down below there, and that actually goes back there pretty far. So you can put some longer items back there. And then there's a little flip open panel there on the side to help access some of your mechanical stuff that you need to check on. This particular unit was ordered with the optional slide out awning covers over tops of the slides there that you're seeing. So those kind of roll in and out automatically with the slide when you bring it in. They help shed away water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. Just trying to again protect your slide. The front slides are the Slim Rack slide system. 
Again, electric motors, just push a button, they go in and out. Now, the four camera security system, you can see pop up there. That's what it looks like on the outside when it's installed. The unit has this six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system on it, standard. So you see the front jacks there. Then there's gonna be two jacks just in front of the axles and then two just behind the axles. So you hit a button and the unit auto levels all by itself. Now, obviously the jacks are only so long, so if you are too out of whack on levelness, you will have to get some boards or something along those lines to try and help. Little pet friendly leash latch right there, so you could tie up your pet if you need to. Two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator behind this first door. And then you have a gas line down below, a little hook up there, quick disconnect. So you could do like a portable grill or something and plug in right here if you want. And another nice feature is they have a little outside spray port here that would allow you to plug in a little hose and have a water source here while you're trying to grill out if you wanted to. Now behind the little door there is basically just a small access panel to kind of help you reach in and push things toward the other side. Um, your storage, the bulk of the storage is in the rear of this thing, but they did put a little access door there to try and help you get to some stuff from this side. Now the unit has the nicer, more ride step above step on it with the shock assist. So this comes down, touches the ground, adjustable legs on it, has the little uh, Cedar Creek logo engraved into it, along with the little backlit uh, step light there. Now, as you can see in the picture popping up here, there is a shock assist that helps it go up and down. It's basically holding itself up right now. So that does help a lot uh, when flipping in and out the steps. The entry door there has a little peephole in it. And it's a little bit wider entry door, 32 inch wide entry door where a lot of RVs are 30 or 28 and some even as small as 26 on lightweight travel trailers. So you do have a little bit bigger entry door going in and out of the coach. The large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the coach. And then you also have your model number located right there, 371FL. So as you're out walking around a dealer's lot guys, Keep that in mind, take a picture of that model number so you can let the salesperson know what you liked when you're out there looking around. LED light strip built into the awnings. You can see this one was ordered, it has two awnings on it. Power awnings, adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. LED light strips on both awnings. The uh, traditional porch light there above the entry door too. So you have two different light sources. And also again, when you do that camera security system, you can see the camera up there too. Just kind of looking down over your door. Really nice graphic setup again, guys, all changed from the 2020 and early 2021 version. So mid-year model change was a pretty drastic change on the outside coloration and graphics for the Cedar Creek lineup. Now stepping back here, you can kind of see how much awning space you got. It basically goes from the rear of this coach all the way up to that big slide, or the bedroom slide, sorry, the living room slide out up there. So a lot of awning space there. Two outdoor speakers back here. They're about six foot off the ground roughly. Um, so when you do turn on your outdoor speakers, they're about ear level. They're not real high up on the RV. Dual axle system here, we'll get to the specs when we get around. You have the Easy Flex suspension system in the middle there, which is kind of like shocks for an RV. Nice setup there, improvement over traditional leaf spring brackets. You have the outside TV hookups out here too. You got a cable outlet and an electric outlet in case you wanted to do something out here TV wise. Huge, huge storage compartment all the way across the back side of the RV here. Couple LED lights there. You can see the aluminum tube framing and stuff for the floor decking and everything. Plywood floors instead of OSB board as well. 
big baggage door and the baggage door is uh, held up by magnetic holders. And it does have the slam lock uh, metal handles instead of the plastic ones. So a little bit nicer uh, on that side of things too. Again, the frameless windows, just kind of give it a little more aesthetic appeal. On the back of the RV back here, you have another large storage compartment there, guys. Really nice setup, huge area back here. And you can also see there's lights and stuff in there as well. Ladder going up and down on the roof here, just so you can kind of get up there. You'll see a picture of the roof pop up here. You've got uh, you know multiple air conditioners up there, plumbing stack vents, roof vents, um, skylights, all that type of stuff, attic vents up there. So those type of items are things you do need to get up there from time to time to inspect and make sure everything's still in working proper order. On the back back here, you have your traditional lower tail lights, but then you also have some mid lights up there as well. So those are also turn signals and they are also brake lights when you do hit the brake. So nice setup there for an improvement over last year's version. Up top is the observation camera there on the back. And that again is part of the optional feature. If you don't get that from the factory, it is pre-wired, so you can still do it later on down the road. On the back part down here, you can kind of see under here, you have a spare tire down there. And the inside, or I'm sorry, the enclosed underbelly down there as well. So sectionalized underbelly comes apart in pieces. Your water heater located right here. You can see pop up there the electric switch in the lower left corner. You also have your drain plug there in the middle and your pressure relief valve up top there. Furnace exhaust out right here and you have the black tank flush to rinse out your toilet system as well. The other side of the storage compartment area here, and you can see there is a little access panel that's removable there on the right. That allows you to get to the back of your water heater area. Down below here, you have some more dump handles for the black tank, the bath tank, all located right here, along with your second black tank. Again, bath and a half model. There is another gray handle just in front of the axles there. Now, one thing that's probably a little hard to see in the video, those are cable pull handles. So the actual termination valve that you're pulling on is up under that underbelly. So they are kind of enclosed in a little more heated area versus just being out exposed to the bottom, to the air outside kind of thing. Really, really nice new look to it. Look at the shine on that fiberglass. Again, a nicer upgraded fiberglass over some brands of RVs. Detachable 50 amp power cord there. Your stove exhaust out up there. Another little security light over here. Down below in this little area down here is the freshwater tank drain and a low point drain as well. And just back up underneath of there is gonna be your ice maker on off valve and drain. Now again, this front section, there's a little bit of storage here, but this is really more for some of the important accessing of things. Uh, so you have your inverter over here the hydraulic um, system over here, that's your container there, where you would manually crank it in in case of a failure, along with an extra switch out here too. Battery compartment there. The powered power cord reel right here. And then your docking station area here. So right here, we can turn on and off the three hydraulic rooms, a light in here, cable and satellite hookups, battery disconnect, 
front cap light switch right here. We have a winterizing valve here for basically sucking the uh, antifreeze out of the jug through the system. And then you're basically right here for city water and fresh water tank fill. So you flip that the direction you want it to go. Outside utility shower hot and cold water here. And then one of your black tank flushes right there also. Some little information about your uh, level jack system, battery wiring, that type of stuff. Nice, thicker baggage doors also. Now the auto level jack system has been moved to all the controls right here since they switched to the new Firefly system. So when you unhook from your truck, you basically do all your auto level from right here, set everything up, pretty simple system. Down here is going to be your stickers, and we're going to pop these up here for you. So you're going to see your gross vehicle weight sticker. So that is your axle weight and your hitch weight and everything combined to the maximum that the vehicle is allowed to be. That also has your axle sizes on it and your production date and VIN number as well. Next sticker is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight. That's what the camper weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. That is basically the overall weight of the RV, but that's what's sitting on those front legs right there, and that's what's sitting on those axles. Not all the weight of a camper sits on those axles. A lot of it sits on those front legs or on that pin when you're hooked to it traveling down the road. If you took those legs off, the thing would fall on its face. That is why they're there to help support things, and that's why the axles are where they are. They balance everything out. Next is going to be your tire sticker, which basically kind of tells you um, what your tire sizes are and what your tire pressure is supposed to be. Very important to make sure you check your tire pressure before each trip. Make sure that it's at the right pressure. Tires are only rated to hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. You let that pressure drop too low and the tire cannot handle the weight that's on them and it blows out. So definitely keep up with that, guys. And also, I forgot to mention the carrying capacity sticker there. That basically just tells you how much weight you can load into the RV before you exceed that first gross vehicle weight sticker. All right, guys, we are gonna head back inside, close it up, and show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're now back inside this new Cedar Creek, again, the 371 FL model. We're gonna close things up. I wanna show you what happens and what it looks like when we close things up. So the first thing you're gonna do is come in here to your new Firefly control system here. And this Firefly system has things like all your light controls here. For example, a master light switch. Hit that off button. I just shut off practically every light in the RV. Turn it back on right here. Pretty cool setup. You can individually turn them on and off also, but around the RV in certain spots, you're gonna have these little soft touch light switch right here too. These are actually mounted on the wall and they send a wireless signal to the system. This is not hardwired into the wall. So you could take this switch off and move it somewhere else if you wanted to. HVAC system right here. So this customer ordered this one with two air conditioners, which is what most people do. They do have an option for a third. Um, so depending on how you want to order yours, but right here you can control everything. So right here you got your furnace, you got your cool one, cool two kind of thing high-low fans on off. Now the high-low fans are just for the air conditioner, they're not for the furnace. Furnace blows out at one speed only. But you set your temperature to what you want. Now we're gonna go back to the slide systems, which is what we were really meant for here on this system. Um, so electric slide one right here, and then you also will have your electric slide two. You're gonna have your hydraulic slides and then your two awning controls. But it's pretty cool little colored setup look all right here, kind of showing you what's going on. Extend or retract. So I hit the button to bring this in. 
Now I can let off of this button if I need to, to go check and make sure I'm not about to run out into a tree or something or whatever. But you basically just hit the button and it'll come straight in, straight out. Again, this is the slim rack slide system. So that's all the way in right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here to the other side. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, guys. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV. So that is what happens when the slide comes in. Now, you can still get up in here if you needed to. So if you stopped at a Walmart or you stopped at a grocery store or wherever, you could come up in here. Now, you could get to the little bit of shelf area over there, the little cabinet if you needed to. You might even be able to kind of stretch down and get into the drawer and stuff there. But for the most part, this is not real totally usable up into those cabinets. But you could come up in here, sit down if you needed to. Uh, if you had the generator feature, you could even fire up the generator. You, know, you could watch TV or whatever without opening the slides if you needed to. Now, when those go back out, spin back around here. Hit the button in the correct direction here. Now, a lot of brands of campers will have either the Schwentech or the Slim Rack slide up here in the living room area when they do a front living room or a front kitchen. And both the Slim Rack and the Schwentech, uh, or in-wall slide as they are referred to, uh, are made by Lippert. Uh, there is another cable driven system that's made by somebody else so you may occasionally find that up here in a living room area but most of them will be one of these two systems here now before you run these rooms out i would suggest walking up in there like we did and just kind of making sure that those cabinets and drawers did not open that way you don't risk running them out and breaking them. So I would definitely recommend looking at that before you run those rooms out. Now, down here in this section, these three rooms here are hydraulic rooms. So the two rooms down in the kitchen and the one in the bedroom. So when I hit this button to retract these, it sounds completely different and again, you wanna make sure that the cabinet doors and drawers and stuff are all closed so you don't run them over. Make sure nothing is in the way uh, on the floor or any of that type of stuff, guys. Really important because it will run them over and it'll damage whatever is there. So again, bringing these rooms in. Hydraulic rooms move a little faster than the electric rooms. You can see that kitchen slide coming straight on in. The bedroom slide is also moving. And this kitchen or table slide here will also start to move. Now, on the hydraulic slides, the hydraulic fluid pushes things in and out, and it kind of flows the path of least resistance. So there's no real true rhyme or reason on this style of system, unless it has individual controls, which you will find on like a river stone. But when you're in the Cedar Creek, it will have basically the path of least resistance kind of going on here. And that also uh, has the outside hydraulic selector valves to where you could shut on and off one individual room or two individual rooms if you needed to. So if you stopped at a rest area and you just had to get back to the bedroom but didn't have enough room to bump this kitchen slide or something out, you go out to where your docking station is, you shut off the kitchen slide, you shut off the bedroom slide, and then you hit this button, again, this hydraulic button here, to extend, and it will take out just one room and not the other two that you shut off. 
Right now we're just running everything back out to give you an idea what it all looks like. And again, when this is closed, you obviously seen there, you can't get past the island or anything. So that's important. If you need to get back there, you would basically just turn on and off which room you want and then just run it out. Now, one good thing was you can still get to the refrigerator right here, like you've seen, and load it if you have to stop at the grocery store. All right, so our slides went all the way in, all the way out. Hope that helps kind of show you guys what the unit looks like that way. Again, guys, really, really do appreciate you checking out my videos and keeping up with things. More new mid-year model changes coming in and out constantly, so I'll be trying to update a lot of stuff for you. Thanks again, guys.